Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today, another video testing Ruby Monocode's properties to protect your wood against liquids. The story started a while back when Tony, that's the owner of the workshop that I sub rent, uh, went to a store to buy Ruby Monocode and there he was told that he should always use Ruby Monocode with the accelerator that you can buy. Supposedly, there are a couple of advantages when you use the accelerator, namely that it protects your wood better against liquids. And he came back and told that story to me and I was kind of uh, surprised because I had never read about that. And I just thought, well, it's possibly they just want to sell their accelerator. Now I, you might have noticed in the videos, never use the accelerator because it's expensive. You need to mix some like Rubio Monaco with the accelerator and then use it. If you mix too much, you have to throw it away. If you mix too little, then you need to mix again, and that's a pain. And so I never bothered, I never rushed. So for me, waiting a week until it dries out is not a big deal. Now that's supposed to be the only difference. The accelerator helps your Ruby Monaco dry out faster, either one day or seven days. That's what I thought. Later on in one of the videos, somebody commented and said, hey, I noticed you never use the accelerator, um, but I was told it helps to protect your wood against the liquids. And I was like, oh, that's the second time I hear this. Is this really true? Because if that is the case, that's a good argument to use the accelerator. The speed isn't important enough to me, but if the waterproofing would be better if you use the accelerator, now that would be a reason for me to try it out. After hearing this second time this story, I went back to the can that you buy with the Ruby Monocoat to read if there was something in there, and I didn't find anything. It even says, let me see, the combination of the oil A and the accelerator B guarantees a quick drying. The oil A can also be applied without the accelerator. Now I'm like, if the accelerator really has an effect on waterproofing, why would Rubio not tell us? So to me, that still makes no sense, but that's why we're going to test this out. Now, you know me by now, when I don't know something, I try it out. I make an experiment. And so that's what I want to do with this video. Another thing is that in the previous video where I tested uh, Ruby Monocode and waterproofing using one, two or three layers of Ruby Monocode, and if that had an effect, there were a bunch of people leaving different comments. And one of the comments also said, um, it would have been interesting to test this out with different woods. Um, soft woods, hard woods. And I actually thought that was a good idea because maybe Rubio protects different woods in different ways. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to test different woods and we're going to test one layer of Ruby Monocoat without the accelerator and one with the accelerator. This here is pine, this here is oak, and this is olive wood. So that's the hardest. This is also hard wood, it's oak, right? And then that's really soft. And I marked them on the bottom side, an N for normal <laughs> and an H for the hardener. So I know which one was treated with the hardener. These dried out for a couple of weeks now. So they're all dry, no matter if I'm hardener or not. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of sweet wine on those. Wine is always a good way to test it because it stains a lot, like red. And so I thought that's just a good liquid to test. I'm going to let this sit for five minutes. Okay, let's assume you're having a party, something spills, but you don't notice immediately. A couple minutes afterwards, you clean it up. Let's see what happens. Okay, there is no difference and there are no stains on any of the pieces of wood, no matter if accelerator or not. As you can see in this picture, it's all the same. Okay, so next I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put 
the sweet wine on it, but this time I'm going to let it rest for one hour and see if there's any difference. And we see here, after cleaning, that both pieces have a stain. The stain on this one here is a little bit softer than the stain on the lower one. It's a little bit less visible, but it's still there. So it seems that the, the one with the accelerator protected the wood a little bit better than the one without but in both cases, there's still a stain. I think both pieces of wood have no stain. Um, the one with and without accelerator, it's pretty much the same. S stainless. Here again, we see no stain, both the olive, the olive with and without accelerator uh, look fine to me. So interestingly enough, there is a little effect of the accelerator on the softwood where the grain um, is obviously softer and like you it can soak in the liquid better than in the harder woods. Um, so there is a small effect there. Now this was an hour. I'm going to repeat the same and let it sink in for about 24 hours and tomorrow we're going to observe if there is any effect there and that should conclude the experiment. All right, what do we have here? Clearly both softwood pieces um, have stains. The one that used Ruby Monocoat without the hardener, without the accelerator, has much more stain than the other one, but both have marks. But it's very apparent that there is some effect of the hardener because there's just less of a stain. Let's look at the next one. Okay, what do we have here? We have both pieces of oak have a stain, a wine stain, and I do not see a big difference. It seems like the accelerator had little effect on this harder wood that has obviously a lot of grains that can soak in the wine and so there is no difference, no advantage on this piece. Let's move on to the next one. Wow, um, the olive wood did not soak in a lot of the wine. Obviously, olive wood is really hard. Um, doesn't have that much grain like the other ones. Um, and here in both cases, there's almost no stain left. Might be some rest humidity in there, but overall I would say there's also no advantage of the accelerator for olive. All right, uh, I think I concluded my experiments. My conclusion is that the accelerator helps to protect especially softwoods. So if you're treating some piece of softwood with Ruby Monocoat, I would recommend you use the accelerator. If you use harder woods such as oak, olive, tropical woods, other kind of hardwoods, it's not necessary to use the accelerator. I don't see any advantage beyond obviously the speed advantage if you need that. So there you can go without and save the money, but just use the time. All right, that was it. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked this little experiment. If you did, don't forget to give me the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you around.